Welcome to the Tower Update. Now, if you are a fan of the show Lost, you may know what is over my shoulder. And uh, that is the balloon that was on the TV show Lost. Now, in the TV show, you find out way later that it was Henry Gale that landed on the island in this, and uh, we assume he was killed by somebody. And remember, if you remember, he lands with a parachute attached to it that has an orange parachute with a giant smiley face on it. And um, then uh, Ben Linus, Benjamin Linus, the bad guy-ish in Lost, uh, takes on Henry Gale's identity from self when lying to all the people. We have that sitting about 50, 60 yards from the back of the tower, just sitting in the woods. Now, why is that? Well, the first reason is because if you had the chance to buy the balloon from the show Lost, wouldn't you? <laughs> and the other reason is this is exactly the kind of thing that you will find when roaming around the uh, property at Wizard Academy, which is things that we just find interesting and things that contribute to keeping you aware of your surroundings and being constantly surprised around every corner and things that make you think, where am I? What kind of place is this? When you're at Wizard Academy for a class, we want you to feel like you sort of escaped the real world for a couple of days, joined uh, with a tribe of a few of the people who are just your kind of crazy, and then you get to take that and go back into your life and uh, use it to create amazing things. So next time you're out here, if you remind me and ask me nicely, I might be able to cut you off a piece of that parachute to take home. And uh, so let's talk about classes we've got coming up. All right, guys, so we've got quite a few things coming up. We have uh, that video class with Brian Brushwood and Rex Williams. If you didn't see the YouTube video of that class, it's in our YouTube channel. It's hilarious. <laughs> we still have a few seats in that, uh, rooms on campus, but it's filling up. And uh, so go sign up for that. That's the only a few weeks away now. Also, you're wondering why I'm in the Whiskey Vault. Well, it's to remind you a couple of things. Um, we're trying to avoid the Wizard Academy channel becoming all about whiskey, which is why we created the Wizard Academy video channel. But we also have the Whiskey Vault channel, and that used to be the original Wizard Academy channel. And that is now one of the fastest growing whiskey YouTube channels on YouTube. Uh, we're almost up to 9,000 subscribers. And uh, several of those viewers and that tribe that we've created there are signing up for Wizard Academy classes and becoming a part of the tribe. So that is really exciting news. <laughs> Um, this is the vault that we built for the Whiskey Sommelier courses. We have those coming up. The last week and a half of September are the next whiskey classes. You have to start with level one. And so that's going to be in the very end of September. It's going to be on a Monday and Tuesday. And we would love to have you there. Now, many people have asked uh, Rex and I, do you have to be in the whiskey industry to become a whiskey sommelier? The answer is for level one, no, not necessary. Um, it is sort of necessary as you get further on, but level one is simply teaching you even more than about whiskey. It's using whiskey as the medium in which to teach you event uh, strategy, marketing strategy, networking strategy, creating relationships with uh, high priced clients and individuals and creating a tribe around events and communities, right? So. We use whiskey to teach all those things and you will learn about whiskey. You will know more about whiskey than anybody you know by the end of the first class. But a good third of our sommeliers are not and have no intention of working in the beverage industry. They are using their skills as whiskey sommeliers to create magnetic events that attract their kind of people to what they do. We got jewelers, we've got dentists, we've got marketing companies, we've got consultants. These are all people who've become whiskey sommeliers and uh, so don't think that just because you're not going to work for Suntory Beam that you can't become a sommelier. You absolutely can. So we would love to see you there. Go sign up for that when you get a chance. And uh, Aaron Konsman is now gonna tell us about the ASBE video for this week. Hey everybody, welcome back. So coming up, we're gonna be hearing from Patrick Sullivan Jr. about the idea of a call to action. Lots of times in our marketing campaigns, it's really easy to get sidetracked and so involved in the entertainment aspect of what we're doing, either our event or our campaign, that we forget to actually give the next step. 
So that's what Patrick's gonna be walking us through is how do you finish that process and give that call to action? Back to you, Daniel. All right, guys, we'll look forward to seeing you back here again. Until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal, and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.